Currently, there's rumors that Microsoft is developing a DVD player, uh, maybe the cell, to replace the missing DVD function in Windows 10. But what do you do in the meantime? Well, when you insert a DVD, you'll see this message that you see at the lower right-hand corner of your screen, and it'll come up and ask you what to do. And one of the things it asks for is that, oh, find a new app at the store. Well, you can go out there, and they do currently do have a app out there, but it costs $14.99 currently. Well, uh, we're going to look at a way you can get other applications that are much better for free. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in here and take a look at the reviews of this one. As you can see, it's not very well regarded. So all the more reason to go out and find one, another one. So if we do a search up here, we go up here and uh, type up in the search box DVD. You know, you'll see some things here, but let's go ahead and uh, press the search button and uh, take a look. And what we come up with is a list here of programs that supposedly do it. However, that's really not what we want to do. So instead, in search up here at the top, we're going to go ahead and type in VLC. And that's the abbreviation for a great program that you can use. Now you see here on the right hand side it had VLC, so I clicked on it. And I'm going to go ahead and if I say get and install this, that's all well and good. However, there's something to note here in the description. It says beware. This VLC does not feature all the features of the classic VLC. It does not support DVD or Blu-rays. Use a desktop version instead. Well, I guess that's what we're going to do. So let's head out to a browser and we're going to close down the store and go over here to a browser. And we're going to do the same search basically. We're going to search for VLC. Now be careful you don't go to one of these other sites. If you click on one of the advertisements that you see there, you're going to end up with something like this. This is not the creators of VLC. So instead, uh, we're going to go back to the search. And if you go down here, you'll see videoland.org, okay, official site. So let's go ahead and down to click on that. It's a bare bones kind of looking site, but it's an open source piece of software that uh, you don't pay for. It's uh, free to download uh, direct from them. Now, before we go any further, I'd like to point out that this is a public domain, uh, open source. Uh, it does everything you want it to do. It plays everything, uh, videos, uh, different kind of uh, file formats. But I do want to point out that you can donate to this. I highly encourage it. It's only five-buck recommended donation. Uh, but go ahead and install this, run it, test it, but come back here and, and, and do the uh, five-dollar donation. So I've clicked on the download button and now it says download VL 2 point, VLC 2.2 for Windows. You can ignore all this. Now depending upon your browser and your settings, you notice down here it has a pop-up down here. And it asks me if I want to save it or save as. So I'm going to go ahead and save it as. And I keep my stuff in a special download directory. So I'm going to go ahead and go out to that one. And right here are my downloads. And I'm going to go ahead and say new folder because I keep everything segregated by folders put in VLC I'm going to open that up and I'm going to go ahead and click on save it's going to take a second or two to go ahead and install and now I can just click on the run button down here at the bottom of the screen and the install will start now one thing to make note of is when the install starts you're going to see it come up and use some defaults we want to talk about that a little bit first of all you want to select your language of course so I'm gonna leave it on English for me and then we're gonna go here and go through the agreement and that kind of thing I'm gonna click on next but then it's gonna to try to add in all these different things like it's gonna take control of automatic playing certain types of files putting a desktop icon in all that now if you're comfortable with all that there's no reason why you can't go ahead and do that but I'm gonna take it out of taking away all the file types and all that and make sure that all those remain the same except for DVD playback. Uh, that's all I want to use here. Otherwise, uh, when you play an MP3 file or something like that, it'll go to this instead of whatever you have right now as your current MP3 player, which I just use a uh, media player right now. Uh, but again, you can go in here and you can select individual ones. There's a ton of different file types and everything. I'm just going to turn it off and uh, use it again only for uh, DVD playback. So uh, you can uh, have it linked to context menu. Those are those right-click menus. I don't want it there either. So once I'm done, I'm just going to go ahead 
uh, figure I'm good on all my configuration. Click on next, and then it's going to say where. So I just say install in the default location. Okay, I'm going to skip here to the finish here, and uh, it's going to ask to run it while you uh, when it's done. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, okay. Click on finish, and when it comes up, it's going to ask you that can it go out and get metadata from the internet, and uh, also regularly check for updates. I trust this software, but some of the software you don't want to necessarily do that, but I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And so here we are, we're running uh, the VLC desktop version. So what I'm going to do is close it down. I'm going to plug in that same uh, DVD, the Deadpool DVD, and you'll see in the lower right hand corner, we're going to get prompted again uh, when it comes up to uh, ask what do you want to do with a DVD. So when it does that, uh, this time it's going to be a little different. Because what Windows does when it detects or when the software installs as a type of software that can do that kind of thing, uh, it's going to be provided as an option. So there's the prompt. I'm going to click on that. And you'll notice that up in the top corner here, it says, oh, look, there's new choices. And play DVD movie. Well, that's what I want to do when DVD movie. So it automatically pops up and starts playing the movie. And here we're going to a, a little bit of an ad kind of thing, but oh, I'm sorry. This is the beginning of uh, Deadpool. I had forgotten what the DVD menu looks like. But uh, not only will you be able to do that, but you have your normal kind of different functions here. You can open a file, play back different titles, chapters, you know, all the kind of things you would expect in a full-featured uh, DVD player. Uh, besides that, you have the controls down to bottom to skip forward and back and do those kind of things as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the play button down here. Uh, actually, it's already playing. Uh, and, of course, you get to the mandatory uh, federal notices and everything about uh, copyright violation. Uh, but here's uh, the beginning of the movie. And you'll see here that uh, it starts up. I'm going to go full screen so we can take a look at it. And sure enough, uh, there's the beginning of the movie. Now I've skipped to another portion of the movie to show you that there's a little button down here near the bottom that lets you click on full screen mode. So to wipe out some of the uh, bars on the upper and, and sides. And the reason it does only some is that this particular movie has a slightly different aspect ratio. Some will take care of, you know, remove all bars depending upon the, the uh, aspect ratio. But in this case we get a nice full screen uh, Deadpool just like it plays with uh, the DVD directly. Well, there you have it. VLC for Windows Desktop replaces the missing play DVD player function that you had in Windows. Uh, runs in Windows 10. Absolutely free. Again, I recommend going back and uh, making a donation. These guys are doing a great job. Uh, and I haven't found a DVD yet that it won't run. So enjoy your new DVD player.